Yeah, be with you in a second, comrades. Just a moment. Okay. Hello, comrades. My name is Boosted Boris, and my guest for today could have been Napoleon, but he is too busy checking out cars at Boris Motor Show. Wait, I think that's the wrong Napoleon. I think the Napoleon I'm talking about is already dead like for a couple of hundred years. But doesn't matter. My name is Boosted Boris, and welcome to Crapitalines Weekly. Okay, hello comrades. So like I suggested to you in the intro, this episode is going to be mostly about Paris Motor Show or the Paris Motor Capitalism Show. I'll explain to you why. Well, first of all, I'm sorry that I missed one or two episodes of Capitalism Weekly, but I was away doing things because of reasons. That's a nice explanation. Yeah, I think so too. So let's get started with the Paris Motor Show and amazing creations and models that manufacturers have brought to us. Well, first of all, let's start on alphabetical order. Alfa Romeo, no, nothing. Um, yeah, what's there else? Oh, BMW. So, what about M2CS? Club Sport or something like that? No. What about more hardcore version of the M4? More hardcore than GTS? Mm, no. Maybe the new M5? The G series, G30 I heard? Uh, no. What about maybe the M8 or some hypercar? Yet. Well, I have some news for you. As anyway, comrades, because well, they did bring something, and it is the new X2 concept. What? You're not enthusiastic? Oh, don't worry. You're not the only one. So I'm. Um, I also not enthusiastic. What the? Okay, maybe something else will be more interesting on this list. And actually, I'm, if you're interested on this list, it's quite short. So what else do we have? Oh, Renault has showed the amazing Clio RS16 concept. And I must say it's freaking amazing. Put the engine from the Megane, 275 strong, I think 2 liter or something, but doesn't matter. 275 strong horsepower engine in a small Clio, lightweight, make even more lightweight, make even more powerful, put the amazing suspension on it, and you have an amazing car, right? Yes. The only problem is so far they're not sure whether they're gonna produce it as a mass production car, which is probably they're not gonna do. And according to the latest rumors, they're gonna make only about 200 of them. And like with almost pretty much limited production run car, it's already sold out. So my comment is, you know, what the fuck? I mean, you're kind of like Lada of France, Volkswagen of France. You're the people's car for fuck's sake, together with Citroën and what's the other car? There's another Citroën, Renault and... And, and to be honest, I forgot, not really important. Another French manufacturer car. I think there were really three of them, Citroën, Renault, and... No, I need to drink more and then I'll remember it. Well, um, num, 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 num. anyway, what I was, uh, what I want to tell you, comrades, and especially to you, Renault, what the fuck, why limited production run? Clio, especially Clio, has to be like a really people's car. Everyone needs to buy it. Right now, what we're gonna have is like, it's gonna be a freaking garage queen. And... All those capitalists buying them and having them in their underground garage, like we are now here, and inviting cameras over for parties. Hey, look what I have in my garage. Yeah, but it's a track car. You're gonna laugh. No, 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 no. What if I crash it and then all the value is gone and the car is gone? No, screw this. So it kind of makes me sad. And by the way, I don't know, where's the new Megane? I mean, we have Schwedenkreuz here at Nürburgring. And for cameras who don't know, it's like the most Nürburgring, I mean, Sorry, not Nürburgring, yeah, the Nürburgring Schweden Cross is a section that kills all the Megans, and with such a high rate of Nürburgring killing the Megans, the Megans are going to be extinct, so we need a new freaking model, and where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? It wasn't in Paris, and the Paris is fucking capital of France. Vive la France, liberté, égalité, fraternité, and that kind of things, and it wasn't there, it wasn't there. If you're not going to show the pinnacle of your track tool engineering, where are you going to do it then? Yeah, so I'm kind of disappointed in Renault, to be precise. So let's move on. So Mercedes, Mercedes has shown, or at least brought, because it sh has shown it previously somewhere else, the Maybach 6 concept. And what does 6 stand for? This is precise 6 meters long. And you know what else? It extends your dick by 6 meters. But you'll be like, Boris, how are you going to extend the dick by 6 meters? Why are you, you going to use dick of 6 meters? Doesn't make sense. 
No, but you know, sometimes you have a small dick, sometimes you have a very small dick, but sometimes your dick didn't even come out and it's still suck, stuck inside your body, somewhere like six meters down in your, I don't know how, I'm not autonomous, not biologist, I don't know how dicks work, but it's probably stuck somewhere, so you need additional six meters to make it come out by this. So people, or well, capitalists are gonna buy it, well, you know the deal why they're gonna buy it, because it's a fucking useless car, where are you gonna put a six meter long car, why, for what? Yeah, just to extend your dick by six meters, you know what I mean. On the other hand, they showed, kind of showed, the GTC Roadster, which is like the GTS or the GTR, well, you know, this sports car by AMG, without a roof. So, and then I'm like, okay, what does the C stand for then? Is it convertible or coupe? Well, it is a coupe, but is it convertible? No, because you call it GTC Roadster. Doesn't make freaking sense. What's up with all those letters, AMG, Mercedes? Doesn't make freaking sense. But Let's skip that, let's move on on another announcement and they said they're gonna make a hypercar, you know, like those capitalists from LaFerrari, P1 and that kind of stuff, they're gonna make a hypercar and they said it's gonna utilize the Formula One technology, I'm checking if my sticker is still on there because I'm like really, woo, F1 technology, but yeah, okay, nice announcement, F1 technology available in about two years, two and a half years, but you know what they didn't tell you comrades, is because it's one thing, after they release the AMG Hypercar, which is going to be called, I don't know, AMG Hypercar, there is going to be AMG Hypercar S, AMG Hypercar R, AMG Hypercar RS, AMG Hypercar Black Series, White Series, Red Series, and after that, once they're done, there's going to be AMG Hypercar C, AMG Hypercar C Roadster, Roadster Convertible, Roadster Convertible with additional, I don't know, extra roof maybe, and this, you get my point, it's a freaking point of capitalism and that brings us to the final thing of the Paris Motor Show is that what you probably want to hear from me my take on all those ultimate capitalism piece of shits that they had there and that's to be precise Lamborghini Centenario convertible well to be honest I don't even want to talk to you about this because it's a freaking bullshit I mean Centenario is for comrades <clears throat> sorry it's not for comrades it's for fucking capitalists who are too lazy to buy a casual event at our go to Mansori or Nimrod with it and make it ugly piece of shit which is way too overpriced and they're not gonna drive it because they cannot drive for shit anyway so yeah actually crashing it would make it even look more prettier and yeah it happened earlier have you seen the Veneno yeah of course probably on some Arabs Instagram page or something but have you seen the casual centenario in the wild? No, I haven't. Never in the wild, not on the internets, not on the interwebs, but it's going to be in convertible. Well, the next point, LaFerrari convertible. Oh no, I should say LaFerrari aperta. I'm like, what? You know what aperta means? It means open. So they just created some fancy Italian words saying aperta. So all the capitalists who have no fucking idea, they're just gonna say, oh no, it's not a convertible, it's a Ferrari Aperta. Open, open. But what if you close down the roof? Does it become closed? You need to call it suddenly uh, Chiusa or something like that? Well, excuse my Italian, I'm not like professional Italian speaker. You know what, in the past they had like uh, Ferrari Testarossa, which is one of my most favorite models, you know, from Miami Vice. When you look at this car, it suddenly wants you to go and uh, take a loan in the bank for like one million, spending 100,000 on that car and 900,000 on cocaine and hookers and then be like really Miami Vice kind of guy. But yeah, Testarossa, nice, nice, nice name, right? You know what they should call this LaFerrari Aperta? Testa Vuola, which is, means like empty head because this is going to be exactly the product that all the crapple is gonna buy with empty heads. Testa Vuola, because you know what I mean. And yeah, you know what also my point is? Just create one fucking hypercar and that's it. Like, look at Porsche. They had a Carrera GT, just Carrera GT. It was convertible already. They have 918 Spider now. It's called 918 Spider. Then make 918 and then after that 918 Spider. You just buy a fucking 918 Spider and that's it. You, you want to take your roof off, fine. You don't want to take your roof off, also fine. But yeah, well, okay, they had the Weissack pa uh, package or just a casual one, which also didn't really make sense. Just make one freaking car for everyone, for people like Lada does. Or I know used to do. Moment of silence for it now, please, because, you know. Well, um, yeah, Nissan, we have Nissan here, and guess what? They have the new GTR. Um, no. Maybe the new Z body, like 350, 370 Z? No. 
Maybe the new S chassis to make like S16 after S15, the amazing drift car? No. They have the new Micra. Micra. Ooh. Ooh. You hear all those excitement? You know why? Because no old people from 60 plus are watching this show. Only young and hip people. And they're not excited. And the only old people who are excited are probably already dead or watching some boring series or Telcel program. So, yep, Nissan, you used to be a cool brand, but luckily there are some still cool brands from the land of, or the country or the region of the rising sun. And it's Honda. You, the, Honda, you have totally won your game. I mean, yeah, we always make fun of you. All those VTEC cameras. I know, but it, it's fun. You know, they make us laugh, so it's a good thing. But yeah, actually did something good. And you know what I'm talking about, which is the new Civic Type R. And although I'm not sure, well, first of all, it's a concept, okay? But knowing Honda, it's, this concept is gonna look pretty much the same. Well, the, the actual version gonna look the same as of this concept. The only thing what I'm not sure of is what, what's up with the three, three tailpipes, exhaust pipes. You want to look like a Ferrari? I mean, even a Ferrari dish them, you know? Not sure if you can see it, but this 488 here behind me has only two exhausts instead of the three mid exhaust they had on a 458, so it's kind of not cool anymore. Please don't do that, do something else. Other than that, I'm pretty sure they're gonna like, well, they said they're gonna show the actual version in Geneva and in 2015, didn't announce anything, they just showed the actual, the current Type R version and said, hey, we have the new record on the Nürburgring. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen pretty much the same. And I hope that will motivate the previous mentioned uh, Renault Extra to create a new fucking Megane, because we need the Megane, we need new ring tools. I need Megane, I want to buy one. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say it too much out loud, but I would really consider buying it if it's gonna be, to be as epic as the current one. And yeah, apart from Schwedenkreuz, Renault Megane 280 RS is probably one of the best front wheel driven cars, together with Seat Leon and so on. But I'm kind of dazzling off, so yeah, Civic Type R, Honda, you did an amazing job. The only thing what I kind of mm, still don't understand why you're gonna still make it a front wheel drive car. Why don't you follow Ford, like they did with the RS and having the all wheel drive car, you know, it's gonna be amazing. Of course, it's more harder to have an all wheel drive functional car and so on and so on, and having a front wheel driven car and heritage, that kind of stuff. Well, you get what I mean, so just my two cents. What else? Okay, that's it for, uh, not for Crapitalist Weekly, but Paris Motor Show kind of shit. We also have Tesla GT. Um, and GT, that stands for Electrical GT, and they're gonna race with it, Teslas. Yeah, they announced it, and, hmm. Well, there are like two parts of the story, okay? So first of all, I'm really excited that electrifying brand as Tesla, you see what I did there? Electrifying, electrocutating. No, is that like a word? Probably not, I don't care. Well. It's kind of cool they're gonna race it, but is there also going to be autopilot function? Nah. But you know what the, really the saddest, fucking saddest part of this whole thing? You could have made something freaking amazing, and you're probably going to do in terms of championship and so on, but a promotional video to it. Uh, well, have a look yourself if you see it, if, well, if you don't want to see what I mean. Seriously, this is not what racing is about. I mean, ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. I want to explain it, sorry. Okay, um, yeah, final thing. And as I was shooting, recording this episode and gathering all the news I want to tell you about, which are pretty much of them. Uh, the Grand Tour, you know, the new Top Gear, which is actually Top Gear, but not allowed to be t Top Gear of the, well, the Clarkson, Hammond and May. They have announced that their opening scene of the first episode is going to be the most expensive TV series opening scene or something, 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 well, pretty much capitalism piece of thing um, ever in the TV history. And to be precise, it's 2.5 million pounds. I don't know how much that is in money, something like 2.8 million euros. And I don't know how much that is in weight, but that doesn't matter. But yeah, because I heard that pound is also a weight, like a stone and dazzling off. But I have good news for your comrades. Well, the bad news, I cannot show you the opening scene, but I can let you hear it. And here it comes. OK, 
Okay, this is Boosted Boris, and he's a Russian social community builder. I don't know what that is, he's been Pokemon hunting on the Nurburgring. Yeah, well, this was Karmred Hammond, or Hamster, how you know him, talking about something. And, well, this is all I can say for now, okay? So it's gonna be very excited, I'm really happy for them, and I'm really happy for myself, and so on and so on. Okay, finally, let's uh, finalize with our new, kind of new, um, what's it called? Well, the section of this Crapulence Weekly, and it is WTF, which stands for what the fuck, but also related to things that happen at TF, tourist foreign session on the Nürburgring. So first of all, we had a video of R8, which kind of does drifting, and so on, and so on, and so on. It happened, well, it had some nasty moment in the Foxhole. Well, have a look for yourself. The problem that I have with it, comrades, is that a lot of comrades in the comment section and everything say, Woohoo! All the Quattro! Quattro system is fucking amazing! Blah, 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 blah. Well, the problem is if it, we would gonna have to thank Audi or this R8 for saving this actual car, and uh, we're gonna have to thank the Quattro, then that means that car needs to be driven, or actually the accelerator needs to be applied. The problem is we see brake lights. So it's actually a good set of brakes, good set of ABS, ESP, everything, or actually pussy controlling device. You know, devices that control that the pussy driver doesn't do anything shit. So sorry, no respect for Quattro here. And I'm pretty sure you're thinking like, hmm, actually it's amazing that the car had a safe maneuver, but would rather see some crash videos. And this is what happens when someone cannot drift on the Nürburgring and, well, not drift at all, and tries to show off in front of the camera or cameras or whoever, and it's going wrong. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, I don't feel sorry for you at all. I feel sorry for the car, but not for the owner, because just just fucking because. I mean, you can see like the previous, like the moments before disaster. You can see that he doesn't, cannot drift for shit. Why does he try to do it on the most dangerous track on the world for fuck's sake? So yeah, sorry. You stupid and I don't feel sorry for stupid people. You're just stupid. And the final piece of thing, which was actually already released like a week ago or two weeks ago, and I want to include the previous Crapulins Weekly, the one that I wanted to shot, but I couldn't because I was doing some stuff like in Slovakia and everything is this. And yeah, um, yeah, you can discuss about it a lot, asking whether Karmrad uh, Glickenhaus is to blame or not, but hey, that's racing, so let's just... And I'm not even sure whether I should include it in the WTF because it happened during the race, not really during tourist Farthing. But just in case you missed it, here's a clip to watch. And also check out this clip where Karmrad in a Seat is chasing a McLaren P1. And that's about it. And the only thing that I want to tell you is that if you like those Nürburgring onboard thing, next week, every single day, there's going to be a video of me taking a ride and explaining about the car, uh, well, being a passenger in a car around the Nürburgring. And some of them are freaking serious, I must say. Something like seven 20 minute laps while chasing other car in traffic. Some pretty hardcore shit. And also like the fastest something car, like we have the fastest golf. Where is your god now? Oh, oh, oh. We have the fastest BMW on the Nürburgring. And so on and so on and so on. So it's going to be pretty excited. So I hope you like and enjoy the feature. And if you don't like, then you, I think you're gonna have to chill out and go drinking, not watching my channel because there's going to be plenty of it. 
Well, having said that, that's it for this week, comrades, and let's see how much am I recording already. Ah, that's nice, that's nice. Good, I hope you enjoyed, and see you yeah, at some point, at an Evercring or something. I'm going to spa, by the way, this Sunday. Not spa like, you know, spa, chilling, massage, although I really want to, but spa the, the, the racetrack in Belgium somewhere. Gonna drive there with GTS and the Woohoo girls. So if you want to meet us, you could probably come there on Monday or Tuesday. Gran Turismo events and so on and um, yeah that's it I'm gonna do some stuff other stuff I hope you enjoy it and if it's like your first time and you really like this shit I'm doing then please subscribe and so on share it with your comrades and if it's not and if you don't like it check my other videos you probably like them well okay have a good day have a good week and see you tomorrow another video coming tomorrow reviewing really carporn fiber GTR and driving it and well just see it for yourself see you tomorrow